positively Massachusetts now. There's an art exhibit in Cambridge going on right now, which features the work of an artist who has found his voice through art. That exhibit is called What I See, and it features the inspiring work of a man from Watertown named Dominic, who has autism. And it has a lot of people asking what they see. Just like a paint-by-numbers grid, Dominic Kiliani obsessively numbers an outline of his next painting. Beginning with number one and the very little tail here, all the way up to 3,649. Many of his paintings, which are all acrylic, are jungle-themed. It seems that Dominic was a lion or a tiger in another life. <laughs> he loves safari animals. We're not sure why? At a recent reception celebrating Dominic's own exhibit that's on display at Lab Central, a biotech lab in Kendall Square, we wanted to find out from the artist himself the meaning behind some of his paintings. But at 24 years old, he still has limited language, and communication with others is still a struggle. Tell me about your love of painting now, Dominic. Love painting. So Dominic's artwork is left open to the interpretation of others, which his mother and father say is the beauty of it. He does not see a need to speak. He will um, he'll do everything he can to avoid speaking, but he'll communicate in his own way. And I believe this is his form of communication. Unbelievably, it is all completely self-taught. Dominic's never had an art lesson. But both his mother and grandmother were artists, and his mother started exposing him to art books at a young age. As a toddler, he was obsessed with drawing street signs on his driveway with chalk. Most times perfectly, and he'd actually spell the words in the sign, which was really kind of freaky for a two-year-old to be spelling. When Dominic was 14, he discovered Paint by Numbers, which his parents say was life-changing. Like many individuals with autism, Dominic struggles with attention and anxiety. But when he sits down to draw and paint, He's calm and focused. It relaxes him, and he's got a love for it, and he's got a talent for it. Dominic now paints weekly. His paintings sell for thousands of dollars, and the hope is he can continue to sell them to become more financially independent. Another hope is having his paintings on display at Lab Central will inspire and motivate its resident scientists and entrepreneurs working on all kinds of treatments for a wide range of conditions to not forget about autism research. I love to throw it back to the researchers and scientists here who are working right across the way from the paintings. What do you see? Well, there will be another reception where the public can view Dominic's exhibit at Lab Central in Kendall Square on Wednesday, January 25th. He is so talented and he's already sold 70 paintings. They actually sell for thousands of dollars. So we've got details, including his Instagram handle and how you can purchase paintings if you're interested, on our website, boston25news.com.